Tearing down the old east span of the Bay Bridge will be as complicated as building the new span, according to Caltrans chief bridge designer Brian Moroni. We are using technology that wasn't available 80 years ago. You have to remember 80 years ago, think about what the engineers used 80 years ago. They used slide rules, right? They used calculations, they used, they used pencils and papers and multiplication and calculus. Well, today we're using more advanced technology, um, and we have to because the steel 80 years ago was brand new. The steel is tired, it's fatigued, some of it's cracked, some of it's rusted. Moroni has been planning the demolition for years. This is a, a portal, the, the, all the steel that's up high is called the canopy, okay, that's the top board. The portal, the part you drive through, the portals on the beginning and the end, the portal frames, those are always the biggest, the largest, the strongest, the stiffest. They carry some of the load from the top down. And months ago was taking these engineers to one of the first sections that will be dismantled. Well, these are something that's left over from the original structure. You can't find anything like this anyplace else. I'm fascinated by it. These are rollers. There's a whole series. They're like rolling pins, just over and over. And what it does is it allows the contractor to have this be a rolling system during construction. The cantilever section of the bridge is 50 million pounds of steel. The S-curve is another 15 million pounds. Both need to come down first to allow construction of a new Yerba Buena on-ramp to the new bridge and to allow completion of the bike path. Here's the challenge. Not only is the old bridge heavy, the failing World War I steel is under immense tension. As the bridge is dismantled, an eastern pier at E9 will have to be strengthened to handle the redistributed load. This thing is almost like a bow and arrow. You know when you, you, um, you string a bow and it's strung and there's, uh, there's strain energy ready to be released. There's a lot of energy in this, and the engineers working for CEC and Silverado, the contractor, they have to be very, very careful, and that's where the engineering comes into play here. Right? This is a very tricky piece of uh, engineering work. This is a unique structure, a huge structure, and is not easy to take down, to deconstruct. This is the model, this is an overall shot of the bridge information model, the BRIM model in Tecla structures. Now you'll see a lot of colors here in fancy graphics, but it is not just fancy graphics. It basically is a capture of the entire bridge with intelligent elements behind it. This is one of the most amazing connections you will ever see. We would never do this today. It's way too complicated. With this tool, they can look at any section of the bridge and tell exactly how much it weighs and make sure the crane they're using will support that weight. Because we all know cranes can not tip over. The $239 million project will be split into three parts to encourage competition to keep the cost down. The half mile long cantilever section goes first. Contractor CEC Silverado, a joint venture, started preparations in January 2013. They're going to use some of the same false work that was used to build the new Bay Bridge to take down the old bridge. And they're gonna be reusing them for the temporary works to take down the old cantilever, which I think is really, really cool. After the first contract is finished, the state will look for bids to take down the five trusses that are each 504 feet long. They call them the 504 trusses. And the 14 spans of trusses that are 288 feet long. They call them the 288 trusses. They'll do it by reverse engineering the way it was built. This is what you're going to see next summer. At some point, you will start to see temporary works back here. This is what you're going to see around March of next year. Okay, somewhere around March of next year. Look at this. This thing is cantilevered out 700 feet and not a single pile underneath here. That's that's the magic of engineering and construction that we're, we're going after. Oh, there's this accounting system, this engineering system that has to take place, making sure you balance forces and control things, right? This is going to be a fantastic moment. This is going to be one of the most fantastic moments of the entire 20-year program. The final phase of demolition will involve underwater work to remove the foundations. Dismantling the old Bay Bridge is expected to take three years. With Brian Moroni watching every step, knowing the public is now secure on the new, seismically safe East Span. On the Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.